Good evening. We are here at Mr. Cho's Garage. We are working on Mama's rig tonight. It's a 06 Chevrolet Tahoe. It's got the 5.3 liter Vortec motor in it. Uh, we lost the oil standing unit on the way home today. Uh, it was just blowing smoke out everywhere. It was all blue haze behind me. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I looked down at my gauges. The oil pressure was low and I was like, I think I lost my standing unit. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and just dig right into here. So uh, we got this here Vortec motor. Um, this is all basic stuff. I got the cheapest of the cheap tools. Um, I got a six inch, half inch extension with a three inch extension. These are key for this job. I seen a video where a guy took, said it took like two and a half hours to change out this oil sending unit. This is the second one I've done. I just replaced this one two years ago. So anyway, I, I know right how to get back into it, but it took me six minutes the first time. So anyway, uh, you have the right tool for the job. It gets done faster. This here is an inch and a sixteenth. It is a sensor socket. It's got two different uh, stepped sizes in there. So it's designed specifically for sensors because they are not like a standard socket. They got their own pattern. But anyway, here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and dig right into here. And the sensor is back here on the driver side rear. It has a, a two wire plug. Um, the plug and you reach way back in here. You can take this cover off if you want to. You don't necessarily have to. You can sneak back in there, but you're gonna or reach way down in there and you'll feel that plug it's sticking straight up and down vertical and it, it's got a, a clip on it like this one so you can reach down with your finger like this and you're you know tucked in there real tight like, and you just kind of pull up and it'll pull off just like that this is not the oil pressure sending you this is the coil pack but anyway it's got a clip just like that so anyway you're going to reach down in here if you're way down in there deep find it a single finger you can pull it up you can use a a, a pick a hook pick whatever um you know just don't break nothing but anyway then you're going to take your sockets here and your extensions and you're going to feed them down in here uh, i use the two hand method i use one as my left eye and i use my other hand as my right eye and here we go this socket is key for this job um you'd be hating life if you don't have it just invest the money i mean if you're if you're turning your own wrenches at home and you're going to dig into stuff like this, it is an investment. So, you know, just spend the money. You're going to do it. Okay, so we're on here. And then we're going to go ahead and put our uh, ratchet on here. Um, I got my cameraman this time, so um, it makes it a lot easier. Like I said, last time I did this, um, I did it by myself. Uh, it's six minutes. Um, and that was me fiddling and fiddling, farting around. And But anyway, um the, the, the whole key is just to, to have that, that key socket, that sensor socket. It, it, it works on like um, temperature sending units, oil pressure sending units. Um, it's not for O2 sensors because you'll never get it over that O2 wire. Um, but anyway, so this sensor is here in the back of the block, reads your oil pressure, and, uh, and we're out. Okay, anyway, here we go. So that's the guy right there. Um, yeah, you can see it's all oil. It was doing the old faithful right out the top here. Um, but see, there's that, that one clip. I saw it. So anyway, nothing crazy fancy. Just your specialty socket. Because like I said, this has got its own pattern on here. So this guy's going to sit right in there just like so. Uh, it's designed for these purposes. Um, but yeah, so you're going to want to invest your money in the, in the socket. Um and then anything else will you know get your job done. So um, anyway, this is a oil pressure setting unit. We're gonna replace this. Uh, this one's under warranty, so I'm gonna go get a new one. And they're gonna give me a free one because I had to pay for this one. And then I'm gonna put it back in. And I'll uh, anyway, I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, this is Mr. Cho, and this is how I get down.